Well, hello. Today I want to take you to a rodeo. Tonight we're going to look at two music nib pens. Now, before I get into the pens, real briefly, a music nib pen has two to three tines. Um, three tines seems to be the most common, but anyway, they are very broad in width, but very narrow. And that enables them to do very narrow downstrokes, which I failed to do in the video, so I apologize for that. I held the pan at the wrong uh, the wrong way, but be that as it may, um, they're used for composing music. Because you have broad, you go this way, you can make your note narrow this way. Uh, so we're going to look at two of them. We're going to look at a Sailor 1911 ringless and a Platinum 3776. I briefly considered including my third music nib, which is a, a Noodler's Neponset, but I changed my mind because it, it, it's a different beast. So let's take a look and see which pen wins. So I am not including the Noodler's music nib with this because it's a different beast. But what I have here is the Platinum 3776 music nib and the Sailor 1911 ringless music nib. So these are two different beasts. So let's start with the Sailor. So it's ringless. That That's just a design style of this particular pen. But you, know, you can see it's kind of stealthy. It's got shading. Uh, it's actually the Epinard finish, which is a French word for spinach. Very cooked spinach, I guess. The nib is not the classic double slit it's just a single slit but it is a 21 karat nib and we get that and if we open it up the cartridge converter which is almost empty Next we have the Platinum 3776. Now I've heard some controversy over the, how the pronunciation of this. I've been corrected every single time I've said the name of this. Um, I've been told Chart, I've heard Chartre, I've heard Chartre, and you know, I don't know. And, and I read online, because I, I researched it, that, that, that you know, there's all kinds of co confusion. Depends on which dialect of French. So, whatever. I like Chart because it sounds like an accident that happens when you have some flatulence. But anyway, this is named after a cathedral in France. So it matches the stained glass. Open it up. This comes with a more classic double slit music nib. Open it up further. I don't know what's in the threads. Uh, it's a cartridge converter pen. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare how they write. No, 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 no. I don't have the same ink in both of them, and you're just going to have to live with that. Uh, normally I do these kind of at the same time, but this one I want to talk about the experience with each one separately. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with the Sailor 1911. So I'm having a hard time with this first one. So Sailor 1911 ringless. Uh, one of the things I'm finding is it is very particular about how I write. So you notice I'm writing pretty upright there. Now if I go down a bit to you know where I want to write, It's doing okay. And then suddenly it's not. So what I find is uh, when it's not more upright, it tends to be inconsistent. But one of the things you can see is that the cross strokes are super thin, the down strokes are super thick. So you're kind of getting, with a music nib, the advantages of a stub nib, but it's tipped. Uh, wetness and flow. See if I go more upright like this, I get it. Some feedback. But see, it doesn't stop. So 
So it's 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 a wet enough pen. Smear test. It's almost singing there. <laughs> Whoop! Yep, that's a wet one. And uh, reverse writing for those of you who are into that kind of thing. Ew. Yes, not scratchy, but super duper double extra feedbacky. And finally, the world famous Peer Gustafson test. Uh, skippage on that horizontal, skippage on that vertical. I. Okay, I, I, I'm going to leave it there, but I think you can already tell my feelings on this pen. I'll talk about this more when I get to the, the talky part of the video. But let's spend some time with the Platinum 3776. Not as broad. And I'll do a little side-by-side -side stuff at the end, but uh, not as broad, much smoother, and it's not as particular about the angle. So the ink in this one is Lamy. I'll write Lamy at a lower angle, and then I'll write Turquoise at a very vertical angle. Get a couple squeaks at a more vertical angle. Uh, flex. So this is where I say that the Noodler's Music Nib, this is why I didn't include it, is a different animal because that's a very flexy nib. So I just, I don't think it belongs in this rodeo, so I didn't include it. If I owned a Pilot Music Nib, I'd probably include that though. Wetness and Flow. Uh, off screen, so we'll shuffle this over a bit. Yeah, not bad. Smear test. I'm expecting as much smearage as the sailor. Whoops, need another hump. Smear test. Yeah, that's a wet kitty. Uh, reverse writing. A little scratchy but not bad and finally the world famous Pierre Gustafson test I made my hoops a little bigger than on the uh, with the sailor because I knew this pen would pass this is a fun pen now I will concede that if I put the wrong ink in this pen it absolutely sucks um, <laughs> I haven't figured out a pattern to which ink, ma ink makes it suck, but there are a few that really suck in this pen. But Lamy Turquoise is amazing in this pen. So uh, let's just do a couple side by sides. So we're going to do the vertical and horizontal thingy. I have not found a pen, uh, an ink that I really enjoy in the Sailor. Uh, I really wanted to enjoy Sailor Epinard, which is one of my, Sailor Gentle Epinard, which is one of my all-time favorite inks, and one which uh, Sailor has discontinued. So, I would say that the Sailor is a little bit broader on the downstrokes, the Platinum is a little bit broader on the cross strokes. but let's just be sure. Let's do a really close side-by-side -side downstroke. Whoop. I like how the ink pools there. That's kind of a cool effect. And let's do a really cool little... Yeah, definitely broader on the Sailor. But one thing, I, I want to do an instant replay. Because I feel like the Sailor flexed. Yeah, it did. Hot damn. So there's flexed and not flexed. Not that there's much difference, but there's a little not flexed doesn't flex all right and let's do a cross strokes so we'll do those i guess one above the other i don't know so sailor is very narrow a 
platinum is also very narrow, but I think a little broader. So what's the idea? I guess I can do a note like that and I don't know. I feel like if I was writing music, I'd want to use a pencil. So, oops, didn't see that, did you? I, I enjoy a music nib because it is like a stub, but with tipping. Whatever you're into, if you write music or whatever, you go with your bad self. But that's what I enjoy. Okay, so I guess... It's pretty obvious where my bias lies. Yeah, I like the Platinum 3776 a lot better. Now, I have used a couple of inks where I think, ugh, this pen's awful. And it does seem to be, to be very ink sensitive. Uh, don't use Noodler's Black Swan in English or Australian Roses in it, for example. But on the whole, with most inks, the Platinum 3776 is wonderful. Omos Gray is a wonderful ink. Just not in this Sailor 1911 ringless. I haven't figured out the ink yet that's good in the Sailor 1911 ringless. I even use Sailor Epinard, Sailor Gentle Epinard. I have used some sparkly inks. I've used all kinds of inks in the Sailor. And, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't, it's not friendly. So this isn't the Sailor, but... You're supposed to hold the music nib, it's, I've read, at a 45 degree angle. And, uh, yeah, that's just a little too upright for me. And apparently, I did it wrong in the video. Uh, but if you're doing your downstrokes, you want them narrow. Because, you know, think of a music note. Curly Q, whoop, zoop. <laughs> the whoop has to be narrow. So I guess I have to hold them at uh, 90 degrees from how I hold normal pens. So... Anyway, on the whole, I don't compose music. I can read music. I can appreciate music. No desire to write it. I like a music nib because of the variation in my writing. Held more like a normal pen. And the Platinum 3776 does that for me. The Sailor 1911 Ringless does not. Now, as far as looks... Okay, sorry. <laughs> The Platinum still wins. I think that finish is beautiful. I, I like the uh, finish on the 1911 Ringless. I originally bought it with the thought of using my Sailor Gentle Epinard ink in it, which is my favorite ink. And it's discontinued, but that's another story. But yeah, I like that Platinum 3776 a lot better. It's just more attractive. Uh, which one's more comfortable to hold? Well... I can't give the Sailor 1911 a fair judgment because I can't hold it at a comfortable angle. I think as a music nib, possibly the Sailor 1911 is more true to its origins. I will grant that. But as far as what most of us are going to use the pen for, let's be honest, most of us are not going to buy a music nib to write music. I know you're out there, musicians, but most of us aren't. Uh, the Platinum 3776 is just a more generally friendly nib. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, maybe not quite as narrow. Uh, maybe not quite as thick or as flexy. But much more usable in a wide variety of conditions and writing situations. So, yeah, I'm a fan of the... Platinum 3776. Both pens have hovered on the, oh, should I put it in my trade slash sell category? And uh, tell you the truth, putting that Lamy Turquoise in the Platinum reminded me, oh yeah, that's why I love this pen. And I've had that Omos Gray in that Platinum pen. I've had it in a lot of my pens. It's wonderful ink. I have not found the ink yet with that Sailor that makes me think, oh, Aren't you wonderful? It's not there. Uh, maybe, you know, if I try one more ink, I'll find it. But at this point, I have enough pens. Why waste time trying to find a way to like a pen that I don't like? 
It's perfectly good. It's just not the pen for me. So, yeah, the sailor is very clearly moving into the must-be-traded-slash-sold category. The platinum is moving into the permanent collection category, and that is that. And, uh, yeah, I hope that's interesting, hope it's useful, and, uh, I'd like to do something with the Noodler's Nippon set again, but again, it's a different beast, and I've never tried a Pilot Music Nib or some of the other brands of Music Nib, so... You know, I, I'm actually curious uh, if, if you could comment down below. What is your experience with music nibs? Is there one you like? Um, am I missing something? Am I missing something with the sailor? Because it's not like people are beating down my door to trade or sell pens. Um, let me know down in the comments. Take me to task or say, yeah, right on, bro. <laughs> you know, whatever you have to do. So... Anyway, I apologize. I'm filming this at almost bedtime, so I'm a little not my normal self, but uh, I sat there thinking, oh shoot, I gotta film my video yet. <laughs> I was gonna do it earlier tonight, so not a night person. So, anyway, let me know your feelings on music nibs down below, and uh, we'll see it pens in use on Friday because, yeah, it's started. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.